Talking to the wrestling t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, hot wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. Welcome to a flare for toys. Set on cultured heathen, it's your boy B. Back here today, we're going to do a little something different. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Summer, WWE SummerSlam pay-per-view premium live event coming up. Just going to run down the card. It comes on tomorrow, I think, 7, 8 o'clock, something like that. Just going to run down, give you my predictions, talk a little bit about it. And then we'll probably come back maybe on here Sunday or Monday, depending on how long it takes me to watch it. But uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Let me get the old man goggles so I can see what I wrote down here. All right. So it looks like they're going to have a battle roll. And, you know, they... They just made up something, made up a match. I'm, I don't even know all the participants, but I'm pretty sure they just did it to give somebody a win, cause they didn't want them let let them beat nobody else. So uh, I'm pretty sure L.A. Knight's gonna go over. I mean, they don't want to put him over on nothing else, but they'll give him that to give him a moment or whatever. I mean, he's really hot right now, but I know people want him to do something. I kind of agree. I mean, he he's a little hot. But what else can you really do with him? I mean, if you give him the U.S. title, you got to take it away from, what is it, Austin Theory right now? I mean, he's he's pretty dang good. But I can see if you want to take it off of him for a minute and give him his moment or whatever. Um, I mean, you're not gonna, he's not going to beat Gunther or Gunther or whatever it is. Walter. That's what I be calling him. That's what I remember him as. And... They're not going to let him go over Seth, which I don't see why ain't Seth going to leave to make this movie, or maybe he already made the movie. I don't know. But anyway, they're going to give it to L.A. Night, so kind of give people something, you know, that they've been wanting. Then we got Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler, MMA rules. I think the match could be pretty cool and all. But I don't really know exactly how it's going to go. I mean... You would think they put Ronda over, but she's on her way out. I mean, usually you kind of, when they go out, you kind of let them get beat. And she would probably want to do the favor for Shayna. But what's it really going to do for Shayna? I mean, she had a moment they were really kind of pushing her or could have pushed her a couple years ago and they decided not to do it. So I don't know. I, I'd probably just say give it to Ronda, let her go out on the shield and whatever, you know, because they ain't going to do nothing but Baszler. We all know that. So anyway, let's keep it moving. Then we got Gunther, Walter, Gunther, Guther. Anyway, uh, versus Drew McIntyre. I'm saying Gunther, but I could see them giving it to McIntyre because they really like McIntyre and Vince got his hands all over this like we think he does. You know, that's his that's his boy, that's his protege, whatever, prodigy, whatever. Anyway, but I, I would give it to Gunther. He he's really doing good right now. I wouldn't take it off of him. I mean I mean you can make McIntyre look strong and make him lose his temper or something, maybe get a disqualification or Gunther keeps it by disqualification or whatever, you know. So you could have maybe a rematch if you wanted later or something, but I would put Gunther over. Uh, then we go ahead with Ricochet versus Logan Paul. Uh, I've always been a Ricochet fan. I really like his work. But, man, he... Logan Paul, to not be a, a wrestler his whole life, his whole career, is just a really great athlete. He's got charisma. I mean, he he's just a star. So, I would put Logan Paul over. I mean, they may put Ricochet, but... I mean, you can't just keep having Logan Paul there and let him get beat all the time. I mean, he lost to Seth. He lost to Roman. I'm pretty sure he lost to somebody else, but I can't remember. But uh, anyway, I, I would put Logan Paul over. But let's keep it rolling. Then we got the three-way match for the women's title. One of the women's titles. I don't know how many women's titles it got. But anyway, Oscar, uh, Charlotte, and Bianca. I say give it to Charlotte. That way she can go ahead and get her 15th championship, 14th, 15th, so she can get up on there and 
end up eventually beating her daddy. I mean, you can take it off back off of her on Monday night or, you know, the next premium live event or whatever. But I would probably turn Bianca heel, let Charlotte win somehow, and then we can set up for Charlotte and Bianca later down. I'd really like to see that. I don't know. It may have happened before. If it did, I apologize because I don't keep up with it as much as I used to, but I would put Charlotte over. Uh, then we got, for one of the other world champions, who knows how many championships they got anymore. Man, this stuff confusing to keep up with. But uh, we're going to go with Seth Franklin Rollins uh, versus Finn Balor. I mean, it's going to be a good match. I'm not a real big fan of either one of them, to be honest. I mean, they're both good workers, but I don't know. I, I don't really see the star factor in either one of them besides maybe like Intercontinental, whatever. But I guess some people like Seth more than I do. But anyway, um, I'm sure they're probably going to put Seth over. And I think you probably should, but you can, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick Seth to go over, but let Damien come down and interfere Maybe cost Balor the match. Then uh, Damian Priest, because he got the money in the bank. He could go ahead and cash in or whatever on Rollins. And then Balor could, you know, be mad at him and say, hey, you cost me my shot and challenge him. Or either that or they let Balor go over and then Damian challenge him. I don't know. But I'm going to say Seth Rollins goes over. Then we got Cody versus Brock. Now, I really ain't got to go much into this. You already see the Cody shirt. And I'm a big Brock fan too, but, you know, Brock's on his later days. He just makes a few appearances here and there. But this is the third match. I mean, you got to put Cody over. I mean, he's got to go over. He's got to get up to get back to Roman, which he should already beat Roman, but they messed that up. But whatever. And so anyway, then we'll go on to the next, to the main event. I mean, even though they say there's four main events, but we all know I mean, I'd rather see, the, I, I'm looking more forward to the Cody and Brock just to see how they do it. But then we got Roman Reigns uh, versus main event Jey Uso. I don't, I don't know what he main event in the movie theater or whatever, but and don't get me wrong. I like Jey Uso. I, Uso, Uso, Uso. I'm feeling a little Uso like Sami Zayn over here. But anyway, I, I like him, but. I mean, come on. He's not taking the belt off Roman, and why would you? So we can have a feel-good moment like we did with Kofi Kingston or like everybody wanted with Sami Zayn, like they really thought they were going to put Sami Zayn over. But you're going to put Jay Uso over just to squash him the next time like they did Kofi Kingston? I mean, some guys, they're good workers, and, and they do all the right things and stuff, but you just have, a certain, have to have a certain amount of athleticism, knowledge, uh, promo ability. And, I mean, Uso's good, but I just don't know if he has that star factor. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I predict Roman to win. But that's all I got for today. Like I said, I'll check back in with you. It might take me a day or two to get caught up and watch it. But I'll let y'all know what I thought. You know, give it a review. See where my predictions were right, wrong, whoop-de-woo, whatever. But until then, I'm out.